Good morning, Lighthouse and friends there out in virtual land out there somewhere. No matter where you're at, we're so glad that you're with us today. This morning I'm going to bring to you a message. Uh, it concerns two words that uh, I heard when I woke up one morning this week. And it was patterns and principles. Patterns and principles. When we was growing up, um, I would watch my daddy do certain things and I watched him change the oil in the car and to change spark plugs and I watched him take tools out and I watched him use them and I watched he beca it became a pattern later on in my life when I began to have my own vehicle and how I began to use that tool from what I learned from my father. When my wife and I, Noya, was dating, uh, she used to sew and uh, she would lay out the material, pin it, uh, the pattern to it, and then they had them little, I asked her what they were, she had taken, clip like a, a triangle out, and I said, what's that? She said, that's notches. I said, well, why is there notches throughout the the pattern, she said, so you can line up both sides, the front side of a shirt and the back side of a church a shirt, and uh, it'd be straight. And uh, so all those little cuts was for a reason. Uh, when I used to build houses, uh, if you know anything about building a house, you'll know that there's rafters. Once you put the rafters or you begin to take rafters and cut them, you always had a pattern, and when you made your uh, measurement, you would take and measure at the crown, and then you'd measure down at the bottom, and you'd put a mouth on it so it would set on the top plate of a wall. And then you'd, I, I, I was taught that you put pattern, you'd spell out pattern with your pencil. And that would be the pattern for all the rafters in that particular section. You could have 60 rafters in that particular section. So you would take those sometime 24, 26 foot boards, those rafters, and you would put that pattern on it, and then you would take a pencil and you would draw that particular place. And then after you drew them all, you would stack the, the rafters up then you'd begin to cut. It may take you an hour, may take two hours. I've seen uh, carpenters just wear out a blade cutting the rafters. In Hebrews 8:5, I want to turn your attention. God giving Moses instructions concerning the tabernacle in which the children of Israel was going to learn how to worship and speak to God. And the scripture in Hebrews 8, 5 says, God gave Moses this warning. Be sure you make everything according to the pattern I have shown you here on this mountain. And everything has a pattern and a principle. It, the principle is why the pattern's made. And it is the character of that pattern. You look at cars, different models. They all have a same pattern from that manufacturer to look just like that. A Chevy looks different than a Ford. A Ford looks different than a Toyota. And that is the pattern. That's what you use for a pattern to make in each individual car. Now, the pattern in which we go in our life and through our life is according to what we normally have seen and we have been around. God said, I'm going to give you my son, Jesus Christ. And he said, because I love you and I want you to get to know him because he's coming down to help you in life. And so... With that in mind, there's patterns by which we look at Jesus, and I want to go through some of those patterns. As the Old Testament was 
uh, in the tabernacle, in the church, he taught us to worship by bringing a sacrifice, which was a lamb or a dove, and how to present it to Christ. In the New Testament, Jesus Christ is worshiped as what David said. David said in Psalms 100, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. If you go to a church that worships God, you'll find them. They'll be singing unto the Lord and a lot of them will have their hands lifted up. They will be singing with their voice. Some will be dancing before the Lord. Some will be shouting. Some will be praying. But they will, everyone that has breath will be praising the Lord. And that is the pattern that we have been given from the Word of God to worship our Savior, Jesus Christ. For God loved man so much that he sent his Son. Now I want to turn your attention to what's going on in our land today. As you know, we're in a pandemic. And in this pandemic, there is things that if you're on the front line, if you're a nurse, if you're a doctor, if you're a, a, a EMS person, anything that has to do with accepting people or going to be around people or picking up people that are sick, there's what is called PPEs. They're personal protective equipment. And those PPEs protect you. And if you've seen them on the uh, television, you, they have some pretty funny ones. They've, they put plastic garbage bags over themselves because they didn't have the right equipment. And they normally have a uh, body something resistant over your skin. You have gloves on. And then some have the masks on. And then some has shields over those masks. It's whatever the place that you're working at requires. And so it's personal protective equipment. Well, as Christians in the Bible, there is what is called, I call PPEs. It's patterns and principles and eternity. In other words, if we have Jesus as our Savior, you want to pattern yourself after Him because He meets your needs. And so the principles of Jesus Christ patterns and teaches us how to act like Jesus. How many wants to act like Jesus? How many wants Jesus to meet your needs? Well, we must learn His principles and they're not only for today, but for eternity. You know, it's amazing to me that the patterns that we find in the Bible are so prominent today. And there's still praise when Jesus went into Jerusalem of the Passover we just celebrated they were praising and allotting the Lord. That's why we praise Him and glorify His name. Is because we want to be like Him. He said, praise me and I will come. He said, follow my pattern and I will honor you. We quote Psalms 91. I saw one on TV of a tent where they have COVID-19 patients. And they said what that tent was for. And right above it, you could see this tent is covered by Psalms 91. And in Psalms 91, David taught us to give praise unto the Lord and call upon him for he cares and he will cover you and protect you and honor you. If you're listening to this broadcast, God cares about you. If you're depressed, if you don't know what's going to happen, Jesus wants to be your caregiver. He wants to give you what he can do best, and that is protect and take care of. You don't have to fear. You don't have to worry because Jesus has got the whole world in his hands. I want to look at some of the patterns that the Bible gives us about 
Let's take, for instance, prayer. These are some of the principles. Prayer. When people were in trouble in the Bible, they began to pin things. They would pray to the Lord. Like I said, David said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. That's a pattern. When Jesus said, our Father which art in heaven, teaching the disciples how to pray, he said, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You know how to say the Lord's Prayer. That's a pattern. When Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane with his disciples and he was getting ready to go to the cross, he said, he come back and he found them sleeping. And he said, could you not wait with me and pray with me for one hour? That is a pattern. That is what we've been doing at Lighthouse Worship Center. And I encourage you to do while you've got downtime. Take an hour and begin to spend before the Lord. Because Jesus said, when I come back, will I find favor upon the earth? If you want to know how God, uh, you need help and you want God to help you, then spend an hour with him and listen to what he has to say. Also, praise. There's a pattern to praise. In 1 Thessalonians 5.18, the Bible says, In all things give thanks, for this is the will of God concerning you. So give him praise and honor that he has come and separated you so that you could listen to him and he could talk to you. Praise him for this time that's been allotted to us, that he's taken and separated you because he loved you so much to begin to talk to him more and begin to break off the things that you were looking for him in the wrong places and the habits, the bad habits, and make good habits for this time in which we are in. God has separated us, separated you to speak to you and to begin to pattern you after himself. Another thing that you could put in there as a, as a pattern is proclamation. In Acts 4, chapter 12, it says, I proclaim that Jesus is the Savior of mankind. For it says, there is no other name under heaven by which man can be saved. And that is the name of Jesus Christ. If you don't know Jesus, all you have to do is call out to him. We have the ABCs of, of salvation that some uh, use. And uh, A, all sinners, all of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We were born into sin. B, B, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. How do I believe in him? C, confess your sins to the Lord. And he will lift you up and you'll be his child. So call out to the Lord. He separated you at this time to pattern and to give you a pattern of himself. Also take the word of the Lord and show. The Bible will show you how to pray. As we just said, our Father who art in heaven. These are patterns. Proclamation is declaring that Jesus is Lord. And this is how we fight our battles. This is how we don't let worry in. This is how we don't let depression in. Is we give thanks in all things. So if this pandemic has caused you to worry. Or caused you to be depressed. Begin to call out to Jesus. Begin to praise him. Begin to allot him. Begin to give him thanks. For giving us the time to seek him. PPEs are not just for now, but for eternity. When you praise Him, when we allot Him, when we pray, when we give, give Him thanks down here, that will be a prerequisite of what we do up there. Because the Bible says that angels were created in order to allot Him, and they do it through eternity. All they do is allot Him. Holy, holy is the Lamb of God. They express total praise for Him, for that was what He was made for. We have been made to praise the Lord. 
You have been made for this time. You may ask, why am I going through this? Why did this happen? God has given us and built us and put us here for such a time as this. For us to praise him through this pandemic. For us to give him thanks for his word. For us to call out and say, Lord, I need you. That is the pattern that he is trying to put in you because he can take care of your needs. We must learn from the brook Cherith that my Elijah was at, my wife spoke last week about, where he separated the prophet. Who in this world could have ever closed up this world but God? Who in this greatest time of life on planet earth who could have shut this earth down and been able to tell everybody to go home and stay in their home but God God is sovereign that means he can do anything but he cannot lie and God will never lie to you God will speak the truth, but you got to seek it out. Could it be God allowed us to be put in this place to break bad patterns of destruction that was leading us down the wrong road? Probably one of the greatest things and habits that we had was this world was not leading us, but it was driving us. And many of you moms and dads there's not enough hours in the day. God never intended for that to be because he made the earth. He made mankind. He never would have done that. There's enough hours in a day to do and to enjoy life. But we got caught up to where we had our hands in everything. And we was going different ways and doing different things and being driven to where your body was shutting down because of worry, because of not having enough time during the day. Well, he, God, who owns the heavens and the earth that made mankind, that made you and I, has given us a time to shut it down. And to begin to knock off the bad habits that has got into our life. And to begin to change the pattern that he has made us for. And that is to serve him. One way that you can tell that is that our pattern of prayer used to be longer, more intense, more merciful. The way we looked at others who did us wrong was with forgiveness. Now we have no mercy. Where is the love of God for mankind, the saint and the sinner? May we get back to worship and praise and honor. Patterns and principles in closing defines your character. Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and live righteously and he will give you all these things. And all those things was food, was clothing, was roofs over your head. Matthew 6, 33. He also said, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Matthew 7, 7. So I encourage you. To seek after God that he may help you in these days. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Go with God.